Inside Microsoft Power Apps, we have two functions. One of them is patch, the other one is update. We can use either one of them to update one single record in table, in a data source, in a collection, whatever you want to call it, but these guys work. Now, they have slightly different behavior, and in this video, I want to show you the differences and how we can use each one of them efficiently. There is one more thing that I want to talk about. There is one function related to these that it seems like Microsoft has messed up naming that function. I will reveal that, and in the comment section, let me know what you think about it. Now, let's get into the video because this is exciting. Let's start with a quick look at our setup. I created a list inside SharePoint called list to patch and update. The ID field is just built-in field. Title is, again, the built-in title. I didn't add anything to it. It is required that it is a string. I also added a field called amount, which is not required, and it's a number. Now, after learning about our list, let's go and see what we have inside Power Apps. Again, inside Power Apps, there is nothing much. I created one app with one screen only and one button on the top of it, and I called it BTN whatever. And I also made a connection to the list to patch and update that I just created inside SharePoint. Now, inside Power Apps, we want to write some code behind this test patch update to go to our list and make updates to one or more records as we move on with our testing. So button is ready, and we are ready to put the first function in test. Let's see how patch works. Both patch and update make changes in a record, in a data source. So patch says, OK, where is the data source? What is the base record? And what is the changed record? So we say, go to that table, go to that list, go to that collection. This is the record that I want you to update as our base. And these are the changes that I want to be applied to that base record. So we want to go to item 3, and we want to set them on to 20 using patch. So I go to Power Apps, and inside Power Apps, I simply say patch. I open the bracket. The data source is the SharePoint list that I just added to the list of data connections inside my Power App. Then I need to specify a record. So I simply look up the record that I have inside that SharePoint list. And the condition that I have is this record dot ID equals to three. Here is the record with the ID three. Great. So I close the lookup. Now I have the record that I want to update. So my base record is here. Then the record that should push the updates to my base record, I just hard coded here. And I say, open the curly bracket, curly bracket inside Power Apps specifies a record, and then we can put the fields one by one. The good thing about patch is that we really don't need to put all the properties here. I want to update amount, so I just put amount, and I want to set it to 20, for example, and I close the curly bracket. So I have the third parameter, which is the record that I want to update here, change record. And then I close the bracket for the patch and I click on format text. First reason is I just want to make sure that the syntax is correct. If syntax is not correct, format text doesn't work. Then I also want to have a quick review and make sure all the parameters are right. So my data source, the base record, and the change record. Great, let's give it a shot and test it. Test, patch, and update. And if I come back here and I refresh it, this guy is 20. Fantastic, it worked. So patch passed the test. Now let's try it with update. Update is asking for a data source. Great, just like patch. All the record, which is my base record, should be fine. And change record is going to be new record. It's, it's a little bit fishy. Yeah. Update claims that we delete the existing record. So give us a new record to replace that with whatever that was already there. OK. If I go back to my Power Apps, if I come back here, 
instead of patch, if I say update, data source, record, record. Let's give it a shot and see if it can set the amount to 25, for example. So save, run, test patch, and doesn't look good. So I click on this one, I click on here, it's complaining. Why? It says, hey, title is required. Like, yeah, title was required, but I don't want to update the title. Say, so, no, 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 I need to know the title. Sure, comma, title, and the title was item three. All right, save it, run. Click on test patch update, fantastic, click. And it still is not happy, let's see. This time it's complaining about ID. Yes, ID is required, but SharePoint automatically assigns it. All right, sure. You want ID, I give you ID. ID is three, and I save it. And let's run it. Test patch update. Doesn't look like it did anything. Still complaining, what else? The specified column is generated by the server and can't be specified. Are you serious? When I didn't give it to you, you said, no, 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 I want it. When I gave it to you, now you are complaining that, no, 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 it can't be specified. And this is the moment I say, you know what, forget about it. I don't want this. I'm happy with patch. So I really don't have nerves to dig into some stupid documentations, hacks and workarounds. Patch is good enough. It does the job. Yes, update works perfectly when you're working with collections when you're working with a table that is local inside your app, not controlled by a server. But if you're working with the data sources, when you're working with Dataverse, SharePoint, anything like that, definitely patch is a much better option. But again, even if I'm using patch here, let me get back to patch here, and I don't need this ID. I don't need this title anymore. Amount is there and it works. So patch works. So if I just run it, I click on test patch, I go out of it here, it's happy. And I come back here and I refresh this screen and it says 25, it works. But here is the issue. I had to hard code this value. Can I simply say whatever the amount was before, add 10% to it, and it doesn't like it. I can simply say save, but it doesn't do anything. Even if I just click on test patch update, you will see it's complaining and it says, no, 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 I don't know what it is. So you may want to put it in a variable, do another lookup or whatever else. I don't care about that one at the moment, but this direct option, I wish it was there. I would have been happy to see this guy here. So out of these two update, when you're working with the real data sources, probably too much hassle to go through it. Patch works perfectly, but with some limitations that I wish they were not there. But hold on, we have a silver bullet called update if. Now we want to see how update if works. I come back here, let's forget about everything. I use update if. First parameter is a collection list or data source that you want to update. So I pick the same SharePoint list. Second one, you don't need to look up. You can directly put the condition here. So I go back here and I say, hey, the record that the ID is five, for example, set it to $2,000, all right? This record dot ID equals five, then I can put the record that I want to update. I would say, amount is $2,000 and I close the bracket and I click on format text. Fantastic. This is much easier without that lookup. This formula looks gorgeous. Let me just run it and click on test patch update. And I come back here and I refresh it and boom, now we have $2,000 for the amount. When it comes to avoiding the static values, this guy does miracles. So let's say instead of saying amount is set to $2,000, I say whatever the amount was there, 
add 10% to it. Save it, click on it, test. And if I come back here, now this $2,000 is $2,000 plus 10%, which is 2,200. And then I click on this again, and guess what? It can update more than one record. So you really do need to put a lookup condition here. I can simply put a condition for every record that amount is less than $100 at 20%. How cool is this one now? I can save this guy, I can run it, and I can click on test patch update. And if I go back to my SharePoint list, all these four items have the amount of below 100. I click on F5 and boom, you have 20% added to all of them. So the final conclusion is that we really have a silver bullet. Update F does whatever that you want. You really don't need patch. You really don't need update. Update F has everything. Now I can kind of guess what you are thinking, but before I get there, let me mention something. Take a look at this formula. Update F, whatever the list that we have, the record or records that they meet a certain condition, and the record that can partially update those records or technically patch those records. Don't you think, instead of calling it update if, they would have been much better off calling it patch if? Of course, it's too late. This is, what, this is not one of those things that they can change. And as of today that I'm making this video, there is no such a thing as patch if. I just want to mention that update if has nothing to do with update. It is more like a patch that can patch multiple records. Now, one more thing that I'm pretty sure you are thinking about it. If update is so much superior to patch and update, why all these guys, Shane, Reza, Pragmatic Works, April, they are all talking about patch. Not only them, Ali, you yourself in your course, 13 hours and a half of training of Microsoft Power Apps, you did not even mention update if. It was all patch, patch, patch. So was that all wrong? Or all these legends are wrong? Not really. Now we are talking out of the context. Let me show you. Let's say I had a data table here. All right. Data table or gallery, doesn't really matter. I pick the list that I have there and I connect it here. Now, and now assuming that I have a data table or a gallery here, I want to click on one item and then patch that single item. If this is the case, nothing can beat patch. Look at this. If I want to use update here, to add, for example, 30% to the amount, I should say where this record dot ID is equal to data table one dot selected dot ID. And then this will do the trick, right? Let's say this one, we need to update this guy. I push update and it immediately adds that 30% to the amount. But if I want to do it with patch, see how easier that becomes. I say patch, instead of putting that condition here, I can say, just pick the data table dot selected, because we are using patch, I cannot use this formula anymore. But hey, if I just want to patch it with amount that, for example, it's in a text box or I can hard code it, I can do it like this and it works, especially for the beginners or people that they are not into all these relationship between the tables and collections and all those things. Hey, whatever that is selected on data table one, go there and set the amount to 40. Done, I can pick this one, for example, click on this one and it becomes 40. So as long as you're working with gallery or data table, patch makes your life a whole lot easier. Other than that, probably update if is a much better choice. And that was all about it. If you enjoyed this video, you know where the like button is. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.